Those trees are beaver cuts. Yeah, they are. They never got drugged to the water line. Yeah, they were taken down. You can see the marks. Yep. The river's flooded. Purgatory. It's over the river walk. That's part of the river walk. It's a walking path. Right there. It's all flooded over. They opened up the water gates days ago. Oh, I wasn't recording. There we go. Yeah, they took out a lot of trees. Right. So back to that. There was a beaver dam here. There still is. And this is the beaver's hutch. It sure is taking a beating. So here's the riverbed of the Purgatory River today with its overflow. This area here is usually a walking path that we can go around through and this is all dry land. This area is really flooded heavily from the opening of the water dam. Built up over there, but that's at least that's at least a foot right there, man. Yeah. I was talking about the sidewalk. Right. So that's the new beaver dam. After the waters has risen, they've built it up into a spectacular multi-level showcase. It's a beaver hutch, not the dam. The dam is actually right under that little bit of rapid on that side there where it drops off. It's the dam they had before anyway. I'm sure they're going to build a new one in the coming weeks. Somewhere along here. They like to do it over there. So now this whole area is completely destroyed and rearranged. The path used to come right through here and across here and this is all messed up now all this debris this is from when the river was high tide two three weeks ago all this debris came through so now we have these piles of sand with the the black sand in it and I believe that if someone to go panning in these piles of sand with the runoff that has the black sand they're going to find some gold so here's a better example of the black sand little little bitty black sand in there along with that black sand you're going to find gold <laughs> 